Okay. Uh, we now know how to make circuits with uh, PMOS transistors as well, and it gives us some more degrees of freedom while designing any any function. Okay, circuit to accomplish any function. Now, uh, if you look at the circuits that we have uh, designed so far, the one that gives the highest gain is the common source amplifier, and even that is limited to some GM times R. Although the inherent gain of a MOS transistor is GM times RDS, we can't approach that because we know that if we make the supply, uh, we, if we make the load resistance very large, we have to increase the supply also to very large values. Okay. So now we'll try to see how to make amplifiers with really large gain, which approach the inherent gain of the MOS transistor. Okay. So let me first take a PMOS common source amplifier and I will remove all the details because they are not necessary at this point. I will label this voltage VGP that includes the bias voltage and signal voltage and anything that you may have. Okay. And here I will just have a single load resistance RL. Okay. We know that if the transistor is operating in saturation region, this gives a gain of uh, minus gm RL. Okay. So now, uh, and so what do I have to do to increase the gain of this? What should I do? Increase GM or increase RL? Okay. Now, let us say that this is operating at a certain quiescent current I naught. What is the expression for GM? There are many possible expressions. But there is one that has I naught and VGS minus VT. What is that? 2 I naught by VGS minus VT. So, GM is basically 2 I naught by VGS minus VT and times RL, okay, which basically tells you that it is minus 2 times I naught RL by. VGS minus VT. Okay. And what is I naught RL? What is I naught RL? It is the quiescent voltage drop across RL. Okay. So, that is I naught RL. And we have a certain quiescent voltage across the transistor. Okay. And the sum of these two is the supply voltage. Right. So, what is the minimum value possible for uh, the uh, source drain voltage? It is VGS minus VT, right? Or in this case, I should have probably written VSG minus VTP. Okay. So, there is a certain minimum we need to have here, and the rest is I naught RL. Okay. So, if you are given a supply voltage. We know that we can't increase the gain beyond a certain point. Okay, I mean we have discussed this many times before. Also, if you try to increase the load resistance, the drop across it increases and pushes the transistor into triode region. Okay, now you can try to from this expression, you can see that it is two times the DC drop across resistor divided by the overdrive voltage. Alternatively, you can try to bias it at smaller and smaller overdrives. Okay, that appears to work, right? What is the problem with that? By making, that's okay. But this product will, uh, if you look at it, let's say I keep I naught RL constant. Okay, that means that I keep the DC drop across the resistor constant, and I go on reducing VSG minus VT. How do I do that? Maybe the current in the transistor will reduce, but that's okay. I will go on increasing RL to keep I naught RL constant. Okay. Looks like I can get unlimited gain by 
reducing this right is this correct it is okay let us not worry about such fine details <laughs> let us first try to get some gain could I said V s equal to V t p and then uh, have infinite gain huh? yeah that is right. So, I will uh, let us say I mean let us say I have freedom to increase w by l ok I have mu p c ox and w by l ok the current is V s g minus V t p squared. So, I can go on reducing this go on increasing this to keep the same current if I want right I can do that. That's okay. I mean, can I have VSD equal to VSD of VTP plus one millivolt? So in the denominator, I'll have one millivolt. If I have a few volts in the numerator, I'll have gain of thousands, right? Yeah. What is it? No, that's not the issue. The point is, this uh, square law model that we have. By the way, there should have been a by two here. This square law model is applicable only in a region known as strong inversion ok. This you will see in uh, solid state devices. So, this V s g minus V t p or in case of NMOS transistor V g s minus V t n the strong inversion applies only when this is about 6 times the thermal voltage ok. How much is the thermal voltage? 25 millivolts ok roughly speaking. So, beyond V s d minus uh, I mean if you go have V s d minus V t p the overdrive below 150 millivolts or so the model that we have just does not work at all ok. In fact, I d versus V g s characteristics becomes closer to an exponential and so on ok. So, we have to have a minimum of uh, 150 or 200 millivolts of overdrive. So, V s d minus V t p is also limited. So, consequently let us say you have a if you had a 1.2 volt supply what is the maximum gain you can get? What is it? Just calculate, right? I said uh, you can use uh, use an overdrive of 0.2 volts, 200 millivolts. So what is the gain? Minus? How much? If you leave 200 millivolts for the transistor, how much do you have across the resistor? One volt. Okay. So what is that number? Two times I naught RL by VGST minus VTP. Huh? How much? 10. Yeah. So, basically minus 10 or the maximum gain magnitude is 10 ok and that is a very small number and you cannot really operate like that also. You cannot operate with such a small uh, V s g minus V t p sometimes and so on. So, but at most you can get 10 ok, but we would like much higher I mean something that approaches g m times R d s. How would we go about doing that? So, let us say I do not even want to cascade because uh, now if I want a gain of 10,000 I have to put 4 stages. You know that if I put it in a feedback loop stability is a problem and all that stuff. Source follower, what is the gain of the source follower? Uh, no, no, but you have to bias this right. So, anyway let us see how to do it with a single stage. So, So, just to understand that what we can do and also this is useful for uh, the things that we are going to discuss now. Please plot V naught versus V g p of this circuit ok. Assume some V d d does not matter. We know that the small signal gain if the transistor is in saturation is minus g m r l ok. What I want is <coughs> V naught versus V g p as V g p changes from 0 to V d d ok over the full range. How would you go about doing this? How would you find this characteristic the nonlinear characteristic? Huh? Ok, before you start first tell me how will you go about plotting this characteristic? Huh? Are you 
you can try to write all the expressions and uh, calculate it from there see which region is which and so on. So, that is very cumbersome ok. What will you do? Huh? Limiting points, what are the limiting points ok. So, what is the output for V V G P equals V D D? Huh? What is the output for V G P equals V D D? 0, why? The transistor is cut off ok. So, that is 0. So, we have one point there. What is the output for uh, V D D uh, sorry V G P equals 0? What is it? Yeah, I know. I do not know. So, you you know that right. So, this so, I have these two values then then what do I do? I have the extreme values I do not know what V O is I just mark some point what should I do? This sir. <laughs> how would you go about it? If you have a nonlinear if you have a nonlinear circuit how will you solve it? What are, what are the different ways of possibly solving it? Huh? We have done this right for diodes and other nonlinear uh, circuits. Huh? No, I do not want to linearize, I want the full characteristic from 0 to VDD. The linearization is obviously not good. Huh? Yeah, ok. I mean, you are welcome to do that, but uh, you should do it in a limited amount of time, ok. Yeah, it uh, depends on triode region or saturation or cutoff. So, you have to have to like play around with three expressions find which one is applicable where and do that that is possible ok. What else how would we solve for uh, circuits with nonlinear elements we have done this before right. What are other possibilities how else have we found solutions to we solved for this graphically many times in the past in this course and so on. So, how do we do this? How would we go about doing this? Yeah, you pick some variables, maybe the uh, diode voltage and the current, and what are the two equations? What do they correspond to? So, there is some basically there is a KCL here which says that this current equals that current you have to express both current in terms of I D and V D and then solve for it ok. So, can we do something similarly here? What variables would we pick well, like what would uh, what are the two things that we would intersect with each other? And also see V naught is the variable that we want to find. So, obviously, V naught is one of the variables chosen in our graphical analysis it will be helpful ok. So, what what should we use? V not turned let us say whatever current is flowing here right and that is in fact I D ok. So, V not and I D. So, what you have to do is V naught and I D and what will be plot here? No, I mean that is right, but what are the characteristics we will be plotting? One corresponds to the resistor, the other corresponds to the transistor ok and the uh, characteristic of the transistor also depends on V G P ok. So, please do this first assume some value V G P such that the transistor is on and draw the curve on this axis sorry actually I flip the axis do I D versus V naught that is easier on the same axis and then see what happens. And also what we want is for different values of V G P we want to find the characteristics ok. So, we have to do this for different values of V G P as well V G P should be a parameter in this graph please do that.
the variables are id and v not so we have to express the we have to express the characteristics of the resistor as well as the transistor with the same two variables okay now all we have to do is see for element any every element we have the characteristics in terms of the voltages across the terminals of the element and current through the terminals of the element okay it's just that the variables given are not directly the those voltages you just have to do some transformation okay so what is the characteristic of a resistor we have vr across it and an ir through it ir is vr divided by r that's all okay now in this case the chosen variables are id and v not okay so how is vr related to v not we are related to v not what is it it is the same as v not and how is id related to ir it's also the same so all we have to do is plot the straight line okay what will be the slope 1 by rl okay now for the transistor this is the voltage that's varying right in the plot v not is what is varying in the plot okay vsg of the transistor it's a constant that is vdd minus vgp vgp is a parameter right so that will assume to be a constant for each plot so what is it that we have to plot what is the plot of uh, interest here it's id versus vsd for a given vs g and what does that plot look like so it's an inverted parabola and as it flattens it stays there in saturation region okay but now we are plotting id versus v not this id is the same variable okay and how is vsd related to v not vsd is vdd minus v not okay so what will that look like what do i have to do so it's just a transformation of the x axis so whatever is at zero here will go to vdd and this point would be it's vsd minus vtp okay so this point would be vdd minus vsd minus vtp okay from this relationship isn't it if i i mean now the x axis is v not okay and this is nothing but what is this value vdd minus vsd minus vtp in terms of vgp what is that vsd itself is vdd minus vgp okay so this is vgp plus vtp okay so all that is saying is that if this voltage goes above vgp plus vtp the transistor will enter triode region okay this fine then after that what happens it will it's just reflected to vdd that's all so this is the characteristic for a some value of vgp okay so that we overlap on top of this so for a particular value of vgp it could be that for a smaller value of vgp it could look like that and for an even smaller value look like that and so on okay and for larger values it will look like this and we know that this last curve is for vgp greater than vdd minus vtp the transistor will be off and the current will be zero okay the characteristics we wanted are v not versus vgp how would we get it from here that's what we wanted to plot right huh 
yeah you just look at these points okay so we know the vgp values for each one of these vgp1 vgp2 3 4 5 okay so you find the values of v not for each of these points of intersection and plot and what will that plot look like okay it's easier to start from the vdd end of things when vgp equals vdd what is the output zero okay because that is on this last curve okay and as you reduce vgp from there what happens huh it increases really it remains zero until yeah so it will remain zero because this uh, if it is at vdd the transistor is off if it is slightly below vdd it is still off okay up to the point vdd minus vtp so the characteristic will look like that look like that okay and what happens below that as it decreases it will increase okay actually this part of the curve like i said is a parabola it's the reflection of the id versus vgs characteristic what scaled by rl okay what region is the transistor in here a huh? triode region saturation because i mean this the voltage across the transistor is very large right it's almost equal to vdd isn't it and whereas this vgs is vsd is small so it will be in saturation region so here ha huh? when it starts increasing it will be in saturation region okay and it will go on increasing what will happen after a while Huh? So you can see here that. So here definitely the transistor is in saturation region. Here also, here it is maybe at the edge of triode region. And if you, this by the way, is the direction of decreasing VGP. Okay. So if you decrease it beyond a certain point, the transistor will be in triode region. Okay. So it will go into triode region. So, what will happen to this curve after that? What do you think will happen? What happens to the small signal gain when uh, the transistor is in triode region? It falls. Okay. So, the slope will reduce because, and you can imagine that because if, from this as well, because now I can draw any number of curves for arbitrarily large values of VGP. It's not going to change, right? The point of intersection will move towards VDD. will never quite get there because you will never have a vertical characteristic like this but it will go close to vdd but uh, for arbitrarily large arbitrarily small values of vgp you go on reducing it it will never reach vdd but it will only change by small amounts okay so this is not to great scale but this is what it looks like okay where vdd is somewhere there it doesn't quite reach vdd okay is okay that's fine so first of all this itself is a useful circuit we'll come to this later i mean does this remind you of any circuit that you know digital circuit what is it yeah it's a characteristic of what what kind of gate is that it's an inverter right it's a logical inverter isn't it if you have small voltages you get a large voltage and it's opposite okay but anyway we can make better inverters than this we'll see so now the point is that when the transistor is in saturation we are operating somewhere here and that slope we said is still too small okay the gain is still too small okay so we have to increase that so why i made you draw all these things is now this will kind of give us hints about how to do that okay so what do we mean by increasing gain 
so for instance let me uh, let me consider these two curves this one and that one so when it goes from vgp2 to vgp3 the output voltage jumps from here to there okay now if you have a larger gain what should happen so the point should be further apart okay is this fine right so when we change from one value of vgp to another there is a horizontal shift in with the intersection point the output voltage and that horizontal shift should become bigger and bigger if the gain increases okay and we want a very large gain that means that for a small change in uh, vgp maybe let me consider this vgp3 and another one which is very close okay with the resistive load there is only that much change okay and we want a much bigger change we know that we'll never get there by using resistors because we already analyzed that we know that the gain is two times i not r divided by vgs minus vt so as long as we have resistive loads we simply cannot get higher values of gains okay so what kind of element will we need so just let me show you a sample characteristics what i would like is this is the resistor right so i want to replace the resistance by something else because i already know that the resistance simply won't cut it for me okay because from this expression v s g minus v t i know that if i have a certain supply voltage that has to be split between v s g minus v t and i not r l and that's it i can't increase either the numerator indefinitely and the denominator can't be decreased indefinitely because the model itself is not valid in that region okay so what i need is some element other than a resistor and this graph tells you what kind of characteristic it should have okay so let's say one of the points of intersection is right here just for simplicity okay when i move to this green curve where should be the point of intersection somewhere far away okay so let's say somewhere here so i need some element whose characteristic is like that do you know any anything that fits a bill no inductor how you can't even draw i versus v characteristic of an inductor right current source yeah a current source would have what kind of characteristic just a flat okay but of course we are talking about real elements not abstractions like current sources so what what is an element i can use transistor what kind of transistor n mos transistor its id versus vds would be like that okay so if i throw in an n mos transistor there right instead of a resistor it would jump from there to there and i in fact i showed it with a finite slope if i show it with a zero slope it will even have infinite gain okay so what should i do i'll bias this with some vgn okay and let's say the characteristic is like that okay so now you can see that as you change from very small uh, value very large values of vgp you change from vgp5 the intersection point is there and there and the very next one is over there and the next one is here and it moves very rapidly okay for small changes in vg there is a big change in the output okay and if you plotted it on the same axis what would it look like ha huh? where in which part of it will become steeper first of all what will it be when uh, the input is vdd vgp equals vdd what will be the output zero it will remain zero and this part will remain exactly the same okay what happens is here it will get substantially steeper okay and finally when the pmos transistor enters triode region it will be about the same it won't be very different okay is this fine and even there the output doesn't quite reach vdd because if vgp is very small there will be some current flowing if there is some current flowing there will be some voltage drop across the mos transistor okay 
and this business of using a transistor for a load instead of a resistor this is known as the active load and this is what is widely used to realize high gains okay this fine so first of all the way i started off with was by you starting with a pmos common source amplifier and i change the load to active load okay so if i look at v0 versus vgp you can think of it as a pmos amplifier with an active load but the circuit looks quite symmetrical from the n and p sides right i could have started with an nmos uh, amplifier with a resistive load and replace the resistor with a pmos active load so that is also possible so please catch v0 versus vgn as vgn goes from 0 to vdd and use exactly the same graphical technique okay and importantly you find the qualitative difference between this and that okay now finally once you have this circuit you could say hey why should i apply a signal only to the n or p sides i could apply it to both right so that's also possible so then let's say i make vgp equals vgn equals vi okay so this is the third circuit right and then you can sketch v not versus vi for that so please do this before the next class